Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper with a short video on a small solar project I've been working on here at the homestead up in the radio shack. Spent the last several weekends at the retreat location working on my cabin solar system which is a much larger project and hope to wrap that project up this weekend and get a video out on that. Uh, the biggest part of that project has been the battery box and getting it properly ventilated. But I'll cover that in that video. In this video here it's kind of a reflection of my solar power journey. I started off small and again working on the big project out at the cabin and had a lot of leftover parts as I slowly learned about solar I acquired a few parts and now that I have a bigger project going this video is about repurposing my entry level items. So here at the homestead I put a 30 panel roof up here on the roof over the radio shack and I had a SunForce 30 amp charge controller so I put that 30 amp panel up and ran the wires down here and hooked up this SunForce charge controller. Now I'm not pushing this charge controller at all. I think with a 30 watt panel the most I'm getting is 1.5 amps. But I'm using that power to top off some sealed lead acid batteries here in the back behind the monitor. It's uh, not a whole lot of power, but it's enough to bring over here and power my 2 meter mobile radio that I use as a base station here in the shack that I use for VHF voice operations and my VHF email operations to connect to the Windlink system. Now with this 2 meter mobile I'm not putting a whole lot of demand on the system but I do plan to expand the battery capability out and add more equipment to the system here and perhaps actually get up to the point where I can add the HF radio as well. But right now I just have the VHF mobile and the TNC, the packet modem there and the batteries are feeding this power strip here and I have extra terminal lugs that I can add on there. But again, this is just a small project. You know, I had all this entry-level solar material and wanted to repurpose it and get something useful out of it. And maybe that'll give you guys ideas as you make your journey through solar, acquiring small charge controllers and small panels and start increasing those systems. Those older entry-level items still have value and still can serve a purpose for emergency communications and preparedness. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Connors Prepper with a short video on a small solar project here at the Homestead. Thanks for watching, guys.